Hi, my name's Angela with We Want Picks, the channel dedicated to UFC fight picks, MMA fight picks in general, and your fantasy draft lineups for MMA, specifically UFC. What I wanted to talk about today was we're going into the new year. It's 2021. The very first UFC event of the year is Saturday. And DraftKings rolled out some new rules. They've eliminated some rules. They've added some rules. And they've changed some scoring. So what I want to do is go through that very quickly. Talk about what works, what doesn't work. And if that affects your lineups and how you should draft in the future. So if we take a look at the new scoring. Uh, and that's this here. Let's talk through very quickly what they've changed. So the new scoring that they've added are every single strike is worth 0.2 points. That's huge because previously only significant strikes were scored. And that gets a little, you know, we use CompuStrike and, you know, there's official rulings, but that gets tricky. What was significant? What wasn't? Is standing significant and the ground isn't? Um, so 0.2 for every single strike thrown is important because anytime you have a fighter on the ground who's super busy but not doing a lot of damage or a Nate Diaz-esque where he's just peppering shots out there, that's a lot of points that you weren't getting before that you will get now. So that's a nice addition to the uh, the scoring criteria. The next is control time. This is huge. This is brand new criteria. This is fantastic news. Um, and if we look here, it is 0 0.03 points per second. So that's not a lot of points, but keep in mind, you're just accruing those as somebody is in control on the ground. So I have the calculator pulled up. So let's just reverse engineer this and see how many points we could get from a solid wrestler with riding time. So we will take 60 seconds in one minute. So times five for a round, times that by three for three rounds, 900 seconds. And we're going to multiply 900 by 0 0.03. And that is 27 points. So you would earn 27 points if the very second the fight started till the very last second of the fight, your fighter was in control. That is not a lot of points, right? So this is nice to have. The reality is if you have a very dominant wrestler who does have a lot of control time, you could assume maybe three minutes per round, so nine minutes of control time. So, I don't know, cut this in half, something like that. Um, so maybe 15, 18 points. But that's great because those are new points that we weren't getting before. So I don't know if I would draft a grappler specifically because of these rules, but it certainly isn't hurting. So in cases where you have a heavy grappler, you know they're going to win, it's a five-round fight, it's, you know, this is some nice scoring criteria. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to go out there and look for heavy grapplers because of this, but if you have a solid grappler who's very busy on the ground, peppering strikes, constantly controlling that opponent, we're going to get some nice points here. So you can expect your 30 point win bonus at another 20 for riding time. Now that's 50 plus all the other points you would normally get with takedowns and strikes. So it's definitely a nice addition. I don't know if it fundamentally changes how you should you know, draft your fighters. The next one, however, may. The next one is the quick win bonus. If your fighter wins in 60 seconds or less, so inside the first minute, you will get 25 bonus points. That is huge. And the reason that's huge is because there are times where you could get a knockout in 20 seconds and you'll get the 90 point win bonus for the knockout, but nothing else because you threw one punch and knocked him out and that was it. So maybe 90.5 because you got a half a point for a significant strike. Now with that 25 point bonus, that 90 bumps up to 115 and that is very nice. Because there were times where you could have a wild three round fight where there's a stoppage at the end of the third round or you know, a stoppage somewhere in the second and you scored 120, 130 points. So that person with a wild decision that was very busy or a late, late, late stoppage scored way more points than somebody with a five second knockout. So this 25 point bonus is a really nice addition and that actually will change how I do some lineups. So, I tend to avoid anytime you get two wild heavyweight strikers, 
I kind of stay away from that or I, I get the underdog if they're dirt cheap because you really don't know what's going to happen. A heavyweight can knock out any other heavyweight on any day, you know, under any circumstances. So I, I tend to avoid those because they don't score a lot of points and, and there's usually a stoppage and you could definitely be on the wrong side of that stoppage. This 25 point bonus changes that. Now, if we have some heavyweights like in Nganu, he's not a heavyweight, but now that we, oh, well, he is. Now that we have a heavyweight like Nganu who comes out guns blazing, you know, all right, maybe that is worth it. You know, if him and John Jones ever square up, maybe Nganu's the draft to have because he could starch him in the first minute and then he may gas and slow down and things may change, but, you know, it might be worth the risk. So I'm just throwing out nonsense, but that 25 point bonus does change how you may be looking at some of your lineups. And then now there's some changes. So everything we just talked through, the strikes, the control time, and the quick win bonus are brand new scorings, brand new points that they're giving that they never gave before. Now they're adjusting some existing uh, criteria. And one is significant strikes. So previously, significant strikes were a half of a point. And that's the only strike that was counted. Now they're reducing that to 0.2 points. So they're cutting it by more than half of what it was. But keep in mind, you're also getting the total strikes. Every strike is also scoring 0.2 points. So if you have a significant strike, before it was a half a point, now it's 0.4 because you're getting the 0.2 for any strike and then another 0.2 for a significant strike. So it does go down 0.1 points, but that's way offset by the addition of total strikes. And then the last thing is what they've removed. What they did remove are advances. So if you're on the ground, you take somebody down, you move from full guard to half, half guard to side control, side control to mount. You know, it's three points every time you change a position. Three points is a lot of points. There's not a lot of things in DraftKings that score three points or more with a single move, a single action. So three points for an advance was a lot. They've removed that entirely. We'll see what happens here. That's that's tricky because that's like a Damian Maya who's just running around you, moving from side control to, to full mount, back to side. Those are points, three points for every single one of those transitions. This may fundamentally change some of these lighter BJJ guys who scramble or move positions. It may change how they score. They've added the control time, but I don't know if the control time is enough. So we'll see how this fleshes out. So, you know, we're, we're losing the three. So let's use Damian Maya again. Damian Maya takes you down. He goes from guard to side control. That's three points. That is gone. So now we have the ride time. So maybe if he rides for a few minutes once he gets in that position and he's throwing those fake, very light, loosen you up strikes, those are now scoring that didn't score before, right? If they're just peppering your head, hoping that you'll uncover so he can sneak his arm in. Those are going to score now that didn't score before. We'll see how this goes. We'll take a look over the next you know few events to see what happens. Overall, I like the new scoring criteria. I will look for heavy strikers now and not heavy like heavy handed, heavy like busy, busy, busy. These seem to favor the lighter guys with the, uh, not these, the strike um, counting all the strikes favors the lighter guys. The quick win bonus favors anybody with power, so usually the heavier people. And the control time is helping out some of the some of the wrestlers. So overall, I like that they're making adjustments. I like that they're looking at this. They're evolving, and I'm okay with these changes. And we'll see what happens over the next month or two if I change how I do my lineups. Certainly, I'm going to look for busy, busy strikers. But outside of that, I think the rest of it, I'm just going to see where the chips lie. If we look at our regular scoring, none of it has changed, right? Everything else remained the same. If you've never seen it before, here's the breakdown. Um, and this is including the new rules. Control time, significant strikes and strikes. Outside of the ones we just covered, you get five points for a takedown. Five points is a ton of points. You get five for a takedown, five for a reversal or a sweep. A reversal and a sweep are the same thing. So if I'm on my back and you're on top, and I'm able to, you know, lock out that knee, pull the arm, and I end up on top, and you're on your back, that's five points for that reversal of the position. And then a knockdown. So if I crack you, you fall down, but you're not knocked out, you fall down, that's 10 points. So there's some real points there, and those have always been, those haven't changed. 
Outside of that, they've they've adjusted strikes, significant strikes, and control time. And then we have the round bonuses. So 90 for the first, 70 for the second, 45 for the third, 40 for the fourth, 40 for the fifth. And then a decision win, uh, whether it's five round decision or three round is 30 points. And now they've added that 25 point quick win bonus. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Again, this channel is dedicated to UFC fight picks, live underdog suggestions, and DraftKings lineups for UFC. We're going to uh, do streams weekly and upload our lineups weekly as well for every single UFC event. Comment. Uh, we'll respond to everything that we can. And I uh, appreciate the watch. Thanks.